do the range motion from a punch to the stomach. So what I'm going to have Jamie do is start hitting me in the stomach and we'll show you according to the hinge joint and the rotator joints of how we take that away by not evading, by not getting back, but moving forward. Hit. Go. Punch. Hit. Come on. Give me some. Come on. Hit. Hard. Give me all you got. Come on. Come on. Hit. Hit. Ain't no power. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to show that he's going to hit to the stomach. And I'm not going to give no ground to him. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to absorb. He's going to punch. He's going to throw another punch. And I'm going to show you how simple that it is not to have to retreat all the time. Again. 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 Now it looks, but when you look at, at what's happening, this arm gets captured by this motion. So when he hits, it it's been it hit hard. Hit hard here. Hit hard again. And now punch. It's just blocking my head. So all I have to do is raise this hand and it diflects the arm because of the hinge joint. Let's do it again. Punch. And all I have to do is reverse this in order to counter the hinge joint with the wrist or the elbow by turning. And it opens him up. It's a very simple thing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a front kick. And instead of me jumping back, go ahead and throw a front kick. Instead of me jumping back like everybody does, I want to attack him. I want to get past the threshold of power. So how do I do that? Kick, hook. That's one. Kick, hook. Simple push. That way when he punch, I have this already. That I can either take his back, or if he punch here, I can go in and take his pit. When the, when the leg is coming, slow. See, it just takes a little bit to give it one of them, just to send him a little bit to allow you to get on that 45 degree angle. Now if he punches and strike, punch, see? Now this time punch here, kick, punch, see? Now punch here, see? I can do this. I can, I can do one of these. I can do all these uh, locking and barring techniques by attacking my opponent instead of staying back or getting out of the way. The next thing we want to do is look at motion in the range of motion and creating G's through spinning kicks. What I'm going to have Jamie do is demonstrate a spinning outside crescent kick. Good. Now what I'm going to do, instead of running away, ducking, jumping back and all, I'm going to attack my opponent and gain ground. Again, fast, hard. Go. I take his kick away because he can't finish what he's doing. You have to catch it right in, right in the time that he commits. One more time, show the kick. Now he's got a good kick. Fast and hard. One time, show the kick. He's got a good kick. Now once you kick like that, kick me. Where does kick go? Again, kick me. Where does kick go? His kick's gone. It's because we went against the natural law, our, our visual sights and our psyche that tells us if he's going to kick like that, I'm going to get out of the way. I don't want to get out of the way. If I apply a technique, I'm going to apply a technique and take his back. Let's do a kick again. Kick. I'm going to take his back. See, I got his back. And if I got his back, if he goes to twist me off, all I got to do is control the head. I'll tear his eyes right out of his head. See, 
I don't, I don't, you know, if I get to here, I just start, pow, pow. And if he gives me this arm, I'm going to take a natural path, and I'm going to lead that arm to where I can bring it around. It's very simple. You can't be afraid of attacking an opponent because of speed or power. You have to learn to take it away by using water. Right?